Welcome, what is up? Thank you for tuning back into the Chaos Lair. Of course, I'm Chris Chaos here with the 411 for Monday Night Raw, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, hashtag Charm City. I uh, love Baltimore. Uh, you know, I, I don't normally just get on here and really, really put over a show. There's one bad segment on this entire show. One. Let's not talk about the trigger street fight. So let me just make a note that I don't want to talk about that at all. Uh, it was funny, but it wasn't funny like great anyway. Uh, Kurt Angle comes out and is addressing the the roster, which looked a little slim to me. It's like we were missing people. And I know Roman and Bray are still out, but it looked like there were still a bunch of people missing. Uh, then all of a sudden you get the return of Stephanie McMahon. Wonderful. And Stephanie, by the way, looked fantastic. Anybody that knows me knows I've had a crush on this woman for years, and it will pro that will probably never go away. I've always thought Stephanie was just gorgeous, and she is. Her hair looked great. Look, that's all. That's all I can say. Uh, so you get a return for Stephanie McMahon. You, then you go into Bailey versus Alicia Fox, but Fox pulls out as the captain of Team Raw Women and decides, you know what? I don't need this. But I found you a replacement. Enter the return of Nia Jax, who's been out for weeks, uh, dealing with personal, uh, personal, uh, whatever uh, things going on with her. And then she beats Bailey, and they had a really good match. Of course, I've seen better between the two. Uh, just as Nia is leaving, the music hits. Samoa Joe comes back. So within the first couple of segments of Raw, you've had three big returns already in the show. It's not even 30 minutes into the show. And you have three, you know, very meaningful returns. Uh, and Nia Jax also gets... Uh, selected as the second member of Team Raw. Who knows who the rest of them are going to be. I have my theories, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, Samoa Joe, he cuts a promo. He slurred a little bit, but not slurred, but just misspoke. It's fine. Uh, he wrestled Apollo Crews. They had a really good match, but I think that these two guys could have a phenomenal series of matches if WWE will just bring Apollo up out of mid-card mediocrity. Very key. Now, a lot of people have made money in that position. A lot of money, by the way. But I still think there, there's more. There is no ceiling in my book for Apollo Crews. And I want to see them you know, bring him up. But anyway, Joe wins. Then I'll, you get an Intercontinental title match because... Angle's pissed at The Miz, and uh, rightfully so. They've got a thing going on. I got to say one more time, we need The Miz versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. It has to happen. It, 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 it has to happen. I mean, I've heard rumors and people speculate about Kurt versus Jason Jordan. I don't want to see that. I want to see The Miz versus Kurt Angle. Uh, Miz retains. They had a, a really good match. Him and uh, Matt Hardy, I you know, this kind of is what it is with Matt now. Oscar just absolutely bulldozes over this low. I guess it's a local jobber. I don't know. Uh, Stacy Cullen. Uh, this is what everybody wanted with Emma. Even though I thought and still do think that it that wouldn't have been the right the right thing to do to Emma, and now Emma's not even with the company anymore. So. And I, I want to just keep my mouth closed on that right now. Uh, Daniel Bryan shows up out of the blue, and then this whole this whole series of it was weird. Daniel Bryan shows up. Kurt is like pissed. He's calling for security, yelling into a radio. They go to commercial. They come back. They're talking. Uh, Kurt's saying that, that SmackDown's going to pay and blah, blah, blah. He's bringing his gold medals and everything else. And then they cut to the announcers, and the announcers are talking up what just happened. Corey Graves is putting over Daniel Bryan for him being admirable for coming to Raw and trying to smooth over the underseed situation from last week. 
And Booker T calls him out on it and says, no, that's not right. And then they argue a little bit, and Booker looks like he is going to slap the hell out of Corey Graves, which was funny just to see that, just the way, you know, old Booker T, you know, he looks like he's coming. And then all of a sudden, you see, I look over at Corey, and Corey's like, just trying not to bust out laughing. It was hilarious. I laughed for a good five minutes. Down, down here from a good healthy place right here. Right right in this area right here. Just a good healthy place I laughed for a long time. And it's still funny to me. Uh, I'm probably going to go back and watch it here in a minute because it's just absolutely funny. I wish they would put just that segment on their YouTube page or on .com or on the app or something because it's just absolutely funny. Uh, and then... So they go to commercial. Well, they go back to Kurt Angle's office, and Daniel Bryan's there. Then the lights go out. They go to commercial. They come back. The lights are still out. Daniel's on the phone. All of a sudden, Kane shows up and choke slams him in the dark, which takes him out. Maybe, just maybe, just maybe, they have actually cleared Daniel Bryan. And this is going to set up a match between Daniel Bryan and Kane. Maybe, just maybe, or maybe I'm just speculating and it doesn't mean anything. Uh, it just adds to the SmackDown vs. Raw thing for Survivor Series in a couple of weeks. Uh, Finn Balor and Cesaro, you know, what, what, what are you going to say? I mean, the, I mean, great match. Uh, as... Balor's leaving, Kane comes out, grabs Balor, tombstones him on the stage, and then goes to the ring. Him and Seth Rollins have a good match, a lot of shenanigans going on, but in the end, Kane gets the win. Uh, of course, The Miz, is he's got a bag of garbage as a present, he, he guesses, or a sign that Braun Strowman is coming back. Okay, I'm hooked. Let's see where this goes. Uh, again, we're not going to go with the, the, the tag match that shall not be named. Elias, the, I mean, just, Elias Sampson is, oh, and yes, Sampson is over with me. I love it. I love the heat that he's getting. I think Sampson is one of those guys where Stephanie coming back was able to pop the crowd, but then have them turn on her like that. Just at a drop of, drop of a hat, and Elias has that heat getting ability and not a lot of people in this day and age in this WWE day and age has that ability to really get heat and keep heat but he does Jason Jordan comes out just attacks him smashes up his guitar which was funny uh, not something that we haven't seen a lot in pro wrestling period wherever it's been uh, Drew Gulak versus Kalisto I feel like it was just something like they just Something to kind of fill time because they didn't want to give a whole lot of time to the women. Although I wish they would have given this time to the women. But the Cruiserweights needed to be uh, featured in some way on the show. Uh, I just hate that Rich Swan wasn't on the show being that he's a hometown guy from Charm City. Uh, A.K.A. Baltimore. Uh, the, uh, the women's title match... It, it wasn't up to par where where it was from the pay-per-view, but still a good match. Uh, Alexa Bliss wins, retains the title. I thought, I really thought that Mickey was going to win, but, uh, you know, I kind of thought that for TLC, but I really, really thought that she was going to win here and didn't. Uh, and then Braun Strowman comes back to try to kill The Miz. So let's recap. Stephanie returns, Nia returns, Samoa Joe returns, Braun Strowman returns, Two title matches, and Kane choke slams Daniel Bryan. Epic Raw. I'm putting my stamp on it right now. Epic Raw. Epic Raw. Name me a better Raw in the last six to eight months. Since, since WrestleMania, not counting the night after Mania. And you can't do it. So with that being said, that's all I've got. Check me out tomorrow night. Follow me on Twitter at The Answer Chaos. And deuces.
His chaos is out.